All right, I chuckle here from Splice and Coast, and I have a quick Adobe Speed Grade CS6 tip for you. Um, this here is on dynamic or dissolve keyframes. Now, if you are new to color grading, you might be wondering what dynamic or dissolve keyframes are. Now, if you are an editor, or coming from an NLE background, you know that you could use keyframes to change your effects over time. Well, that is the same thing you could do in a color grading environment, only that you could change your grade over time using dissolves or dynamics. Now, if you are an editor and you're new to color grading, you might be forced to do something like um, using just keyframes and trying to change your grade and you might realize that it's not working and that is because the way things work in the NLE world is kind of somehow different from how it works in the color grading world as to certain certain different um, operations all right so um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this um, right here um, by the way this footage here is um, from the film other side of the coin um, directed by Shahi K. Woods and um, I happen to be the DP and uh, editor and also colorist so it kind of helps that I use this footage here alright so I have this um, nice and beautiful and uh, let's just say I will want um, as this place through maybe as my character gets in front of the camera here um, for everything to maybe go reddish or blue or monochrome whatever okay what, whatever that I think I want to do so for this example I'm going to do something really extreme um, let's just say I'll make everything red alright so what you would do normally in an NLE alright or what, what you figure out to do if you are brand new to um, color grading is so create a keyframe here now by the way here um, on this tab here you have um, your control for all the keyframes and uh, speed grade if you click this, this is to add a keyframe, this is to delete the keyframe, this is to delete all keyframes, and this is for the previous and the next keyframe, alright? So that was just by the way, if you didn't know that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create a keyframe, alright? And as I said before, if you're coming from an NLE background, you'll be compelled to say, okay, right here, let me create another keyframe, and let me just make everything right, alright? Now, I'm going to show you why this doesn't work in a, a grading environment. I'm going to go ahead and play this and just see what happens as um, I get to the keyframe. Do See that? Now, what is wrong with that? This is pretty confusing if you look at it. I mean, if you are an audience in a theater looking at this, you will, you might try to figure out that something went on with um, the projector or you know, something is really not right because it just plays and as soon as it gets to the keyframe it just changes all right now this might be something you're trying to do creatively I don't know but it's something that doesn't really work well because you can just end up you know confusing your audience or your viewers all right so the way to fix this is to use a dynamic or a dissolve keyframe all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna um, delete this keyframe here all right and I'll show you how to do it the dissolve keyframe now, instead of clicking this once to add a keyframe, you double click it. Oh, voila. Now we're saying something different. We see an arrow in between the keyframes. Now, what this arrow is showing you now is that you have a dissolve in between the keyframes. So it is not going to play and get the keyframe and change. It is going to start changing from right here. Okay. And it's going to dissolve. And by the time it gets to the keyframe, it's going to be at 100%. All right. The beautiful thing about this is this is also movable all right so I could shorten the dissolve or I could lengthen it you know it all depends on how or what you're trying to do okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my beautiful red braid extreme nice beautiful red day all right and I'm gonna go ahead and play through and uh, let's see what happens all right, so this much this is much more better to the eye because now the audience could see the change happen over time. So if you try and communicate a certain effect to tell a certain kind of story, this is a great way to do it. Okay, and as I said, I could just drag this and make it as long as I want. 
so I could go back and play it and it'll take its time to slowly come in and by the time it gets here it's at a hundred percent all right so this is how to easily create a dissolve or a dynamic keyframe in speed grade CS6 thank you